anaphase 1 of meiosis also called as anaphase 1 of meiosis 1 during anaphase 1 paired chromosome they separate from each other chromosomes they move towards the poles these chromosomes they are guided by the spindle fibers sister chromatids during anaphase 1 sister chromatids they remain joined at the point which is called as centromere they do not separate instead a centromere that contains two sister chromatid that moves to one pole while the second homology uh, uh, including a centromere that contains two sister chromatid that move to the other pole of the cell difference between anaphase of mitosis and anaphase of meiosis 1 in case of anaphase of mitosis centromere split into two parts and one of the sister chromatid move towards the one pole while the second sister chromatid moves towards the second pole but in case of meiosis a chromosome that consists of two chromatids which are called sister chromatids that chromosome move towards one pole in case of a mitosis centromere splits into two parts while in case of meiosis 1 centromere do not split into two parts if we see in this diagram that the chromosomes they are moving towards the poles here we can see that this is the centromere this is a centromere of the homologous chromosome and this chromosome that consists of two stands which are called as sister stands this chromosome is moving toward one of the pole while the second chromosome that also contain two sister chromatids this chromosome is moving towards other pole this is the difference between anaphase of meiosis 1 and anaphase of mitosis in case of mitosis the these sister chroma chromatids they split they separate from each other and one of the chromatid move towards one pole while the other chromatid moves to to the other pole but in case of anaphase of meiosis the centromere do not split instead chromosome that contains two sister chromatids that chromosome move towards each of the pole in this diagram we can see that what is the difference that how the chromosome move in the form of sister chromatids here is the chiasmata formation we can see that chromosomes they are joined with each other these are the homologous chromosome held together during the chiasmata here is the chiasmata and how the chromosome move that chromosome with the centromere this is the point of centromere or the kinetochore is present within the centromere this chromosome including two sister chromatid first chromatid and second chromatid this chromosome will move to one pole while the second chromosome is same this is kinetochore where the two sister chromatids they are joined with each other this chromosome will move to one of the pole pole one and this will go towards the pole 2 summary of the anaphase of meiosis 1 or meiosis in case of anaphase homologous chromosome they separate from each other centromere do not split instead a chromosome containing two sister chromatid they separate from each other and they start to move towards the poles